Welcome to AminAcademy.com in Analytical Solid Geometry. Let us discuss about second degree equation represent a cone. For this, we will do one example problem. Look at this example. Prove that 4x square minus y square plus 2z square plus 2xy minus 3yz plus 12x minus 11y plus 6z plus 4 equal to 0 represent a cone and hence find its vertex. Here, this is a second degree general equation. So, we have to make it this general equation as homogeneous equation and proceed the procedures. Now, first let us make this equation as homogeneous. Now, the given equation 4x square minus y square plus 2z square plus 2xy minus 3yz plus 12x minus 11y plus 6z plus 4 equal to 0. So, we have to make it this as a homogeneous equation. That means we have to let it be this function is f of x, y, z and t, we introduce the variable t. That means 12x, that means we have to use it to make it homogeneous, 12t and yt is a t and 4t square. Look at it here. Now this becomes homogeneous because degree 2. Now we will find partial derivative of this function dou f by dou x equal to 0 which gives we have to differentiate partially with respect to x this we are 8x this treated as a constant because there is no x term here no x term here 2x y is plus 2y with respect to x here this uh, constant this 12t Twelve t and rest of the things not having x term so equal to 0 it will be 1 like we will continue dou f by dou y equal to 0 which gives here y term uh, differentiate minus 2y plus 2x minus 3z minus 11t. So here wherever y term comes we have to differentiate. This minus 11 y t is minus 11 t equal to 0. So similarly we have to use other conditions that is dou f by dou z equal to 0 which gives 4z minus 3y plus 60 equal to 0 that will be 3 and dou z by dou t equal to 0 which gives 12 because uh, with respect to is that uh, 12x so z by dou t with respect to t your first use 12x minus 11y and 6z and 80 plus equal to 0 that is the 4. Now put t equal to 1 put 
t equal to 1 everywhere that means we will get this equation 1 2 3 4 become your t that is here you have to put it 11 that is uh, minus 11 into 1 is minus 11 so t equal to 1 we have minus 2y plus 2x minus twenty become that is uh, plus 12 equal to 0 like this everyone you have to put uh, value equal to 1 we get next 2x minus 3y minus 3z minus 11 equal to 0 and third one is 3x minus 4z minus 6 equal to 0 and 12x here we are using here 12x minus 11y plus 6z plus 8 minus 4y no 12x minus 11y 11y plus 6y plus 8 equal to 0 we have 4 equation with 3 variables then by using the solving we will get That means we have to solve this y and y and x here. This by using the solving we can get the value of x and y, and that using this we can find the value of z. Now we can get it. Also, that three values of that is x y z value will satisfy this. That means we can get it by using solving. using solving this we get uh, you know that solving that is why i'm not showing the solving you can do it my x equal to minus one y equal to minus two and z equal to minus three which satisfy the last equation let us check the values that is 12 into minus 1 my, uh, minus 11 into minus 2 plus 6 into minus 3 plus 8 so minus 12 minus 22 minus 18 plus 8 so your minus 34 so minus 12 minus 22 x equal to uh, x equal to minus 1 y equal to minus 2 z equal to minus 3 so we'll satisfy so 12 into 1 12 into minus 1 and minus 11 into 11 into minus 2 and 6 into 6 into minus 3 and plus 8 so minus 12 plus 22 here plus 22 look plus 22 plus 8 is 30 minus 12 minus 18 is 30 so it is equal to 0 that means this values satisfy therefore equation represent equal therefore the given equation represent a core and also its uh, vertex vertex is the value of x y z that is minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 we have done please subscribe our youtube channel